Good evening, fellow collectors. January 18th, 2010. And tonight we're going to look at some items on the Coach's Corner auction site. And most of the stuff we're going to look at is quote-unquote authenticated by Chris. I never saw an autograph I didn't like Morales. And you know why I call him that? Why I really call him that? I have yet to see anything that he's authenticated that I can honestly say is authentic. And honest to God's truth, I've been looking for that one item. I just can't find it. I really can't. Anyway, let's go to this one item. August 1951, St. Louis Browns, Bill Veck, Eddie Goodell. You know, at one time, an Eddie Goodell signed photograph, the only one in existence, as far as I know, sold for almost $7,000. But like the Bonnie and Clyde that was up a couple months ago on Coach's Corner that nobody else has, Lee Trithall and Scott Malik of Coach's Corner, they've got an Eddie Goodell. St. Louis Browns, look at that. Even inscribed with St. Louis Browns. Isn't that amazing? Lot number 37. You know what the bidding is up to? It's up to a whopping $44. Must be authentic, right? I don't think so. Nobody, uh, there's no COA. It just says, you know, whatever it says. But nobody else has got an Eddie Goodell autographed anything. There's like 10 in the whole world that have been authenticated. But guess what? Coach's Corner's got one. And it's up to a whopping $44. So much should be four or five grand. Is that a whopping $44,000 presented to you by Scott Malik and Lee Trithel of Coach's Corner. Now let's get to some of the Morales stuff. And I really want to know. I hope, I'd hope i like to get a video response from Morales. I want to know what exemplars he used to authenticate the items that I'm about to show here. It's almost like he gives a blanket authentication. To, I don't even know if he looks at the stuff in person. Because the stuff that I'm going to show you doesn't need to be looked at in person to question it. I mean, you're going to see, I mean, and this is stuff that's up like every single month on Coach's Corner. Lot number 254. A Babe Ruth signed pair of pants, jersey pants, uniform pants. Lot number 254. It's up to a whopping $44. How many times has Coach's Corner listed a Babe Ruth set of signed pants? That's incredible. What should be a $15,000, $25,000 item, I think this thing's up to like 50 bucks. authenticated by Morales. Lot number 629, Babe Ruth, Hack Wilson, on like a 3x5 or a 3x6 cut, something like that. I think it's up to like $100 or something like that, I'm not, I'm not even sure. I want to know, Mr. Morales, what you used to authenticate these autographs. Let me know. Give me a video response. Give me your reasons why you authenticated this stuff. Did you look at this stuff in person? How about lot number 635? A Babe Ruth on a postcard, I believe. Lot number 635, authenticated by Chris. I never saw an autograph I didn't like Morales. He's got a ton of stuff up there. And it doesn't look good. The stuff does not look good. I'm going to show you lot number 636. An awful, just an awful Lou Gehrig on a 2 by 3 piece of paper or something like that. This is awful. I really want to know. I would love to get a reply or a video response from Morales explaining to us why he authenticated this, the stuff that I'm showing you tonight. I'm going I'm to show you an even uglier Lou Gehrig. Mr. Morales, what did you use to authenticate this stuff? This is lot number 673. And another thing that we always question, how does Coach's Corner acquire these Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig items in quantity, in bulk? I'm saying bulk every single month. Where do they come from? Who are the consigners? Show us. That's the underlying fact that we all want to know. And that's where the secret lies. How about lot number 130? Again, Another Mantle and Marisine Baseball up every single month. Lot number 130. I want to know what Morales used as exemplars to authenticate these two signatures. Lot number 130. I'm going to show you something really ugly. This is god-awful, just ugly. 
Mickey Mantle, Ted Williams, and Joe D on a baseball lot number 202, authenticated by Morales. Take a look at this stuff online if you can at Coach's Corner, www.mycca.com. Some god awful autographs. I really want to love Morales. I love Morales for you to give us a video response or some kind of reply to this stuff. Uh, this is not a Morales one, but I just had to show you this one. This lot number 603. This Derek Jeter A Rod signed 16 by 20 photo. Just a, an awful, ugly Derek Jeter. But then again, they sell forgeries of Derek Jeter every single month from Coach's Corner. Flooding the market, as Scott Malik and Lee Trito will always do with a bunch of crap. A lot number 103. Another ugly Derek Jeter on a signed jersey. I don't know what morons are bidding on this stuff, but uh, a lot of the stuff is uh, always uh, attempted to be flipped on uh, eBay. And hopefully some of us do catch it. And lot number seven, again, another ugly Cy Young. Cy Young, uh, his autograph on a baseball is so super rare, and yet somehow Coach's Corner's got one up every single month, or at least up every other month. An ugly Cy Young. And, oh, another Morales specialty, lot number 128. You'll look and see it better on the Coach's Corner auction site. Ted Williams, Ty Cobb, Roberto Clemente, Satchel Page, Jimmy Fox. These are all terrible. Looks like they've been penned by uh, one person. At least one or two people. Just ugly. Lot number 128. And again, another Morales specialty. Christy Matheson. More super rare than probably Cy Young, I think. Uh, this is lot number 677. A very, very bad and ugly Christy Matheson. Uh, just a dopey looking Christy Matheson. And finally, well, no, let's, let's do a Mel Lot. Let's do a Mel Lot. Lot number three from Morales. This Mel Ott, the same exact Mel Ott, is up at least uh, every other month. Just horrible. I, I don't know who does this stuff. But I still want to know, Morales, what you use to authenticate this stuff. And finally, the same old stupid looking Ty Cobb. Lot number 12, authenticated by Morales. And uh, again, just some of the ugly stuff that comes out of Coach's Corner every single month. A small sampling of their crap that they flood the marketplace with. And the moronic buyers that bid and buy on this crap. So anyway, I'll be doing another video tomorrow night on some more Coach's Corner stuff. And on some eBay stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow night.